Good morning and welcome back to Sim City here in the basement. We are going to start our fifth city today. We've got um, a beautiful look across the river here, uh, down at the shore of our next city site. Uh, you can see here we've got some interesting terrain and a nice little gentle slope up here and into the region. Uh, here's our connection point to this new city. And this new city is going to be named after uh, longtime basement dweller Chi Panda. I can I need rename it yet? I can. We're going to name it Napping Panda. He suggested Sleeping Chi, but I decided to suggest Napping Panda, and he loved the idea. He said that the series wants to make him take a nap, but in a good way. And we're going to embrace that as a part of the city. Um, let me tell you the plans for the city. It's going to be a coal mining city, but we do not have to hit any benchmarks uh, in order to upgrade any buildings, really. Uh, we're just going to mine some of the coal. So there's two pockets of coal here, uh, here and here, semi-connected, and the wind is blowing in from the, sea, uh, from the highway toward the sea. So we have to be careful about how we build our industry and our mine. What I'm thinking we're going to do actually is put some wealthy sims here um, overlooking the water from up high and we're going to put some medium wealth sims over here and the way we're going to achieve the medium wealth is by putting all of the services over here and then we'll put our low wealth um, sims in the middle here and they'll work the coal mine. I think we're going to mine the coal on the left and leave the coal on the right alone. And uh, we'll put a little bit of industry down here too, since <clears throat> we're going to need to put a few industry buildings there uh, to begin with anyway. So let's bring up our coal map. And uh, I've donated a million dollars from um, Chivalrous Creek. And let's see, how far do we want to extend this before we split it? A little ways, not too far. Um, I'm not too worried about traffic in this um, town because I don't think we're going to have very many people. We're going to do a small population. We're going to do that on purpose. Um, let's... I mean, I don't even know if we need... Yeah, we'll, we'll keep some avenue, I think. I'm trying to decide whether or not we even, like, want avenue. But I think we do. Okay, let's do a 45 here and a 45 here. Uh, a similar amount. Whoops. Get rid of that. I'm trying to keeping a close eye on the coal here because I want to avoid that. I'm going to extend a dirt road at that angle out here so I know how far to bring this for symmetry's sake. And then we're going to break free from the symmetry, I think, for most of the rest of this. Um, don't worry. We will have some nice curves here. And because of the gentle angle, I think just deleting two on each side will look nice. You can see we have some gentle rainfall here in Napping Panda. I love taking a nap when it's raining outside. Um, I also like being awake for it, actually. Uh, okay, so how will we break free of the symmetry? I suppose we'll angle this right away, but this could maybe stay straight for a bit, as long as we don't, mm, or maybe we could, oh, I have a curved road tool. Maybe I could do a 90 here. Okay, I think that will do nicely. Uh, <laughs> we're going to want to do three here, I think, because that's a 90 degree angle. This we could do just two. Although maybe we do more. For some different looking curves. Um, this can be just two per side. This should be three, I think, at least. One, two, three. Need one more here. And then that's just a downhill. Okay, so let's curve these up. 
and then we'll start uh, we'll start designing some neighborhoods. Uh, I have I've been playing around a little bit off camera to try to see what I think we could do to make a little more interesting um, roadmaps. And uh, I think one thing we could do is um, build not just on a diagonal. but on sort of a um, more interesting version of a diagonal, not just a 45. So these squares lock into place. And so I think if we go up by three and then connect this corner to this corner, we'll get an interesting angle. Like that. So if I get rid of that, can I connect to where that would have been? Almost. Let's get rid of one more. And then we'll put this on this line as close as we can. Okay then that's going to be our angle there. Angle too sharp, give me a break. Whoops! Shoot. There is no undo. Either. Well, let's go from here to about here. It's not perfect, but it doesn't really need to be. Okay, and then this can be a curved road, I think. Into here. And I would like it to be about 90 degrees into the avenue. Yeah. Curve that. We'll curve that. As is our way. And now uh, we're just going to put some wealthy people here, I think. Um, also, our services are not going to need to include power or water or sewer. Because we can buy these from neighbors. Can I close that? Oh, that's a part of things. Um... Where is my option to buy power? We could buy... Oh, here we go. We could buy power from neighboring cities. Let's see, there's the most available in Chivalry Creek, so we'll buy from there. And the most water capacity is also from Chivalry Creek. Um... Let's buy that from Ameliatopia, I think. And then we'll send our sewage to do so confidently. Cool. So that's water, sewer, and power. The sewer arrows aren't showing up because uh, we don't have any sewage yet. Uh, hmm. Maybe we want... To connect this a little better. We don't always have to draw straight roads and then curve them to connect them. Sometimes we can just do that. I think that's a little better. would like this about yeah like that 
so we are going to put, um, hmm. We need to make sure this is a high wealth area. 24 visitors per day. I think we can do small stuff. I'm wondering what the coolest looking parks actually are, though. What about formal? Got some big ones here. We could put the amphitheater here. 192 visitors per day. We're not going to have 192 high wealth people here. But maybe if we start with this. Let's make sure it doesn't look too dumb. Oh, everyone's facing the wrong way, though. So maybe we do it like this. Right, and then we can put the shops across the street. Cool, okay. Uh, let's see, large fountain park. That looks nice. Reflecting pool park. That looks quite nice. So let's see, we could stick a mansion. Hmm, small fountain. Fenced fountain. Fountain plaza. Some city launch park. No. Yeah, we're costing ourselves money, so let's pause time real quick here, and we'll go back to the plazas here. Sculpture garden. Simple walkway. I guess the walkways could be nice. Like a walkway between... Yeah, and then a little guy here. Like a private park for the people who live here. Okay, so that gets us started. Let's build um, a mansion here. And one here. And we'll build a little high wealth shop right there, I think. And maybe a mansion here. Okay, and that'll get us started with high wealth. We'll we'll do some more of that soon. Now let's think about um, our mine. We probably can't do that until we get our industrial buildings going. So uh, let's do a like a low wealth downtown here. And let's keep in mind where our coal is. Yeah, that's where we're mining. So I think we could go like this, but we're probably not actually going to make this connection. That's just a good spot, I think, to begin a grid. Do, 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 do. Let's build a tall rectangle here. And if we get those guides off, you'll kind of see what we're going for here. Um, we could do one like that as well. If I build this here, then I should be able to lock this here without trouble. But I think I might get rid of that line. Maybe that line. Yeah, this is looking kind of nice. Um, we're going to need some connections, though. And not squares. Maybe straight. Like that. Like that. Um, yeah, so if I do go ahead and actually and build this and this, then I think what makes sense is to make this commercial and everything else residential. Like so. Um... 
Uh, and we'll start with that. We'll see if that's enough to work the, the mines. Um, although there will be no mines to begin with. Let's build a road down here. I wish this ugly line wasn't in the map. I don't know what causes that. Is there a way to fix that? Okay, so we're going to kind of go... Let's see, where's the connection? I don't want to do the, this connection too close. I guess we could put it here. Okay, and now um, let's do a circle. Let's do a circle road here. Mm, I think maybe a little more like this first, and then our circle. Yeah, and the circle can get close to the hill there at the top and that's okay now we're just going to build a few factories off of this we put one there a couple over there although that pollution may blow toward our medium wealth people Maybe we want to do a couple over here. I'm just sort of making this up as I go. If you couldn't tell. I think we're going to get rid of these. Okay. How many factories do we actually need to unlock the coal mine? That's an ore mine. Coal mine. Seven industrial buildings. Okay. Where are we going to be able to fit those, I wonder? Maybe... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that seems about right. And I'd like to add some more trees down here if I can. I'm not sure how well they're going to plant, actually. Eh, they plant okay. It's always nice to get just a little bit. A little bit of tree action here. This would be a nice place to come work, I think, even if it's in, you know, a factory. I wouldn't mind driving down here to work. It's a long drive, but these are the people that are going to be working there primarily. Uh, okay, so then we need our medium folks. And let's see. Uh, we'll probably have two roads going to and from the medium. So let's do a uh, road that looks maybe a bit well, let's start with the let's start with the grid. Okay, so square roads. Let's start with straight roads and we'll go to the guide. We'll build There's our snap.
Oh, I see why that doesn't want to snap. Okay. Um, that was weird. Why didn't those connect? Snap, snap, snap. Okay, so if I connect maybe this corner to this corner, I think that's what I want to do. Excuse me, airplane. Um, so let's build a square like this. Those will be our connection points. This is a good, nappy episode. I'm feeling very relaxed. Is that the angle that we want? I think it may be. Okay, so square roads now. And we'll do Hmm, that doesn't go that far that way. That's okay. Do, 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 do. I keep clicking on the wrong thing. Uh, okay, we are going to go two for this one, though. Ooh, and look how nice of a pattern we've got going here. I'm going to get rid of that plane. Okay, and then this line can continue straight. That's our spine, really. But no one has to know that. It's kind of uh, implicit. I like the idea of getting rid of that, actually. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So maybe another um, long rectangle here, but sort of long. This way. And then a uh, shorter one somehow. You probably actually go like this, and we zoom in, and we see how much money it takes to draw a road straight from here to here, and it's 253. So we cut that in half, and that's about 126 or 127. So we go that far this way, there's 128, and we go that far this way. There's 125. That seems beautifully asymmetrical in a way. It's a dollar outside the tolerance level in either direction. And then we get rid of this, 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 and this. But we keep this. And we get rid of this. And then these will be our connection points. You dumb plane. Okay. Get rid of that little guy and that little guy. And I think we will curve like this. 
And we want that about 90 degrees. If we can swing it, okay, and then we do the same here, and this should be a bigger curve. Which would be nice. Let's get that to be about square-ish. I'd say maybe there. Am I recording? I don't mean to be. I mean, video saved. Huh. Whoops. Good thing I have a terabyte. Okay. <clears throat> now, are we still going to have room to put the coal mine here successfully? I hope so. Where's that coal map? Oh yeah, we'll put it over here. Um, hmm. Do we want to maybe go like this? Well then these folks will have to drive through this neighborhood to get here. Hmm. There won't be many people living over here anyway, but the services will have to travel from here to here to service these people. And here. And down here. Uh, so we may give the services a shortcut down to the industrial like this. Hmm. But our coal mine needs to connect here well. And so I think we have to get rid of this. And I think that will be... Okay. We'll play with it. Um, let's take a curved road and curve it ever so slightly. So it sort of follows... the coal. Okay, and that will be how people get to work. Now, how are the services going to get from the medium density area to here? I guess they'll have to take this. But that's a lot of corners. I didn't really think that through. But it'll be an experiment. We'll see how it works. Okay, um, let's put... See, we probably want to put the health clinic closest. And we are going to do tier one services. Do, 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 do. Let's see here. Well, this pollution's gonna blow this way, isn't it? I may have to move some of these factories over here. The circle idea was so cool, though. Uh, okay, services first. Let's think about services. We put the clinic on the in... No, we put it like this, so the highway's behind it. Okay. And then we put... Let's see, if this is gonna connect down here, and then maybe we'll put the police and the fire near each other. Uh, we'll probably put them on the outside, though. So let's think about a road down here. Could go from here, I suppose. Is that a straight road? It's a No, it's a curved road, but it's just not cooperating very well. Maybe we could go like this. Don't love that. Ooh, it's a steep road. How does that look? I think it looks okay. And the road can kind of meander a bit. But eventually it's going to make its way over to this ring. Let's 
Ooh, I like that. It's kind of interestingly serpentine. Okay. Let's think about our zoning here and our wind. It's blowing... Which way is it blowing? Is it blowing toward the highway or toward the sea? Oh, it is blowing toward the sea. So we're fine putting our industrial down here. I don't know why I thought it was blowing toward there. And yeah, we just can't stick any industry up here. Upwind of the rich people. So we can actually put a few more factories off to the side. But I think we're fine for now because I think we have enough for everyone. Okay, I want to go ahead and upgrade this right away to at least a low density paved road. Good, okay. Um, so services, so fire and police can maybe go next to each other here. There's plenty of room for the fire department there. Um, but we do want the benefit of the medium wealth spread of land value. Just she seems ashamed to put the jails back there. But what can you do? Okay, we'll go ahead and do that like that and check on the land value here. And see it's starting to wealth up there a little bit. This is kind of why I wish the clinic was over here. You know what, we got the money. Maybe we'll go ahead and do that. We move the clinic a bit. And when the poor folks get sick, they can come over here. Yes. Okay, that is having a good effect. Now let's do some, let's see, sports. It's fun to build sports stuff. Will the baseball field fit into one of these nooks? We could do it out there by the highway. Or maybe next to the fire department? Nah, we'll do it out here by the highway. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, um, basketball court. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll put one of those over here. Just for fun. Uh, we'll tinker with that later. Um, with that area later. Uh, a skate park. That could be kind of fun. Yeah, we're wealth in this area up nicely. Okay, soccer. We don't need any more sports. I think we need some nature. Um, small pond. That could be for, like, here, maybe. Make sure our coverage is complete. A straight path park. That doesn't look too straight. Wavy Path Park. Well, I agree with that. Colorful Path Park. Flowers help you wander around in circles. Uh, the Tree Rose. Medium Path Park. I do like that. Large Path Park. Love that. Ooh, that's a big one. Uh, we'll probably put that over here. Now, this isn't going to um, accidentally wealth up our... Uh... Oh, wait a minute here, though. The coal power plant's going over there. So maybe we leave this as well enough for right now. Um, okay, let's get our zoning tool and our property value map. And we want, I think... People all in here. And shops, maybe... Like this. Is that going to be enough? These people are going to have a hard time finding shops unless we help them out. Yeah, we'll start like that. Okay, and the rich people, is that enough to build a shop? I don't know. Uh, Alright, so I think we're about ready to turn on time and let this uh, develop. So that should be fun. Um, I'm wondering if we're not going to do 
a slow development. Let's see. Let's just see what happens here. We can turn off the zoning tool. Oh, something's building here. Commercial zone. Big box stores. Ooh, and I think I see some houses going up here. Let's just enjoy this and uh, watch them grow. But we're losing a lot of money. We will need to make sure that we're taxing well. Those parks don't pay for themselves. This is sort of the relaxed pace of SimCity. Like, everyone wants to live near the clinic. You know there's going to be ambulances there, right? It seems to me like that might be a bit of a problem for you. Let's try llama pace. Well, that sped things up, didn't it? Okay, who's going to move in? I want to see a moving truck. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Boy, we sold all these houses here. We have the Moore household. The Rajendiran household. And the Escobedo household. And look, we got more houses going up over here. Look at this nice neighborhood. I would live here. Oh, I hope some of the trees remain. Maybe I, um... Zoned too much. I made these boxes a little too small. I should have made them big enough for trees to exist in between. Now maybe we could dezone this now. And just leave the houses zoned. Because I like the trees. Like, it's okay for the houses to be right next to each other, but maybe they don't have to be. We'll tinker with it. We'll tinker with it over time. Okay, we'll rezone those two. And what is that, a doghouse? Yep. <laughs> oh, look, we got some good development there in the medium wealth. We got some good development here in the lower wealth. The commercial district right here. And, uh, ooh, we even have some wealthy people, too. That business is going to suffer if we don't get some more richy rich people in here. <clears throat> So we'll have to go ahead and do that. I do believe. Uh, can we fit two right here? Maybe we don't want to. Land value should support wealthy there, right? Oh, look. It doesn't quite here. So we need a little park, I think. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so now we'll have one, two, three, four, five mansions to support this store. Hopefully that will work out. Ooh, and how are our factories doing here? Edible fillings, burger supplies, tasty chemical. Um, do we have any high wealth jobs? Oh, we do, see, yeah. 10 high wealth jobs, 100 medium wealth jobs. So everyone should be able to work. How do we have unemployed? We need more factories is what we need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We just need seven. Oh, look though. We can't actually build one here because of this road. So Let's do something like this. And we can build one right here.
All right, this is a happy little town. I'm gonna give it some time to develop and balance, and uh, I'll hit you guys with an update when uh, we're ready to build the coal mine. Or maybe before then, we'll see. I'll play it by ear. See you soon. A very important part of how The Basement is able to bring you the content that we do daily is our wonderful YouTube sponsors and Patreon patrons listed on the screen now. If you would like to join this amazing group of people who are helping The Basement to make even more content and do even more streams, you can go ahead and click the link in the description or on the screen right now. And we'd love to have you join us in making The Basement not just the friendliest place on YouTube, but the most awesome place on the planet. In our solar system. In our universe. In, in the, the basement. basement.